Hi everyone, this is Lance with LanceGoyke.com and today I want to explain to you why we care about the abs and the hamstrings so much. I'm going to harp about that with every client that I have. And to understand this, first we're going to start with two rubber bands. We got one big one and one little one. Now if I pull on both ends, which one is going to stretch more? That's right, the little one. Okay. The, the thicker one is more resistant to change. That's like a really stiff muscle or sometimes tight, but we need to redefine tight, and we'll talk about that in a, in a minute. The little one takes less force to stretch out, to deform. What does that mean for the human body? Okay, so the best way to look at this is starting here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through it on me, and I'm gonna show you on the board as well. So. You get some guy who starts to lift a lot, okay? And his, his back is always tight. He's walking around like he's always bloated. He's always out of breath. Because he's hyperinflated here, okay? His back is really tight. His back is breathing for him, in fact. Because it's in a position where it can breathe really well. So, I give abs to bring that back down. In this, in this scenario, my abs are losing the tug of war. My abs are the skinny band. My hamstrings are the skinny band, okay? So, my hamstrings right here, they're gonna pull me down in the back. And my abs are gonna pull me up in the front. And it's gonna make me turn this way. So counterclockwise for the video. Then you'll, you'll notice a lot of these people with these stiff backs, they got really stiff quads too. It's because nothing's pulling against the quad. So the quad in the front, the hip flexor in the front pulls down, okay? The back, really tight, the back pulls back, pulls up in the back. Bam. Then we get this, since these are winning the tug of war, I get this rotation this way. So clockwise, I fall down in the front, okay? My back comes up, okay? Pulls my feet off the ground, pulls my head down on top of me. So now I feel heavy up here, but I can't ever find the ground. I'm always searching for the ground. So for these people, position is super important, and these people are everyone, okay? This is, this is the most common thing. This is the first thing I'm going to shore up because my spine, my hips, those are in the center of everything. And without the center, I don't, I don't care about the periphery. I don't care about what's out here. I need stability here first before I worry about this stuff. So I need to make sure my hips are underneath me when I'm squatting, when I'm deadlifting, when I'm doing a split squat, if you're into that, when I'm doing my front plank, my push-up, anything, okay? I need to make sure my hips are underneath me because that puts my abs in a position where they can work. And I get more green here. And that puts my hamstrings in a position where they're not overly stretched and they're not overly long, okay? Sometimes, lots of people will tell me, my hamstrings are so tight, so I just keep stretching them. And I get them on the table, and they can bend over, or I have them touch their toes, and they can step on their palms. They got tons of hamstring flexibility. Lay them on the table, bend their leg up 110 degrees, 80 is normal, and they got 110. Okay, that's too much. The reason those hamstrings feel tight is because they're being pulled so long. And when they're pulled long, my body says, I better turn these on so that I don't die, so that I don't fall, so that I don't collapse, so that I can stay strong, so that I can deal with the environment around me, so that if someone breaks into my house, I can do something about it. I can run away, I can run at them, okay? So my hamstrings are tonically long. They're on, but they're long, okay? So stretching them only makes the problem worse because it brings them further out of position. That's why I keep this position first, and then I worry about strengthening these things. 
by cueing the position, I'm shutting off the red. I'm getting rid of some of my arrows. Okay, now my back shuts off a little bit. My hip flexor shuts off a little bit. And I get this counterclockwise rotation on my dry erase skeleton. Okay, so recap. Establish position, then strengthen. So by establishing position, I shut the right things off, then I can turn the right things on to make that position stick. Thanks, guys.